Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am back with another kind of help tutorial with knitting. So last week I showed you guys how to correct your rows or reverse your rows using um, the knit stitch. So now today I kind of want to go back and show you guys how it works with purling, which it's fairly similar. So imagine that you're working your pattern and you realize that you have purled too many stitches. Um, and you need to go back. So like I said, you don't have to frog your entire project, which I know it can be kind of off-putting when you mess up when you're a new knitter, but worry not, you can go back. So just like I showed you guys with the knit stitch for purling, you would just go under these little purl heads or the little purl bumps and you insert your non-working needle directly underneath that bar and you tug, you um, slide your working needle off that loop and you just tug at your working yarn gently and that puts this loop back on your needle and you can go back to working your pattern as normal. It's nothing to it. You just want to make sure that you're not also catching your working yarn when you are pulling those loops back. So if you can at all, just make sure that when you insert your needle, you're not plying your yarn or going into that working strand like that. Today's little tip has been helpful to you. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up or you can comment down below letting me know how I did. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on awesome weekly content like this. I post knitting tutorials every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. CST. And don't forget to check out my other social media. I'm on pretty much everything except for Snapchat. So, you know, I got something out there for everybody. And also don't forget to check out my Etsy and my Teespring store. I have channel based merch and then I sell things, patterns and items in my merch shop so don't forget to check that out as well. And until next time guys, happy making!